109 people say the strangest things i say people me i say the strangest things um i'm sure i heard somebody say this many years ago when i was a bit younger and probably didn't really pay too much attention to it so first thing this morning i found myself um on a teams call the meeting um that, that's a lie was it yesterday actually it was yesterday morning i found myself on a teams call teams meeting and um as they were talking and chatting there was some element of sharing the screen at which point i looked left i looked right i looked left i looked right and realized that i'd left my glasses i think downstairs so um <laughs> i didn't want to excuse myself i didn't know how long the meeting was going to be but I didn't really want to excuse myself. So I thought oh, I'll battle on and, you know, just expand the screen, which you can do on a Mac, in case you don't know. Um, if you're on a Mac and you want to zoom in, you just get your fingers on the mouse pad and, whoosh, and it zooms in. I share that with you because I say useless stuff like this and people say, oh my gosh, I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, um, so I did that. I zoomed in. And it was so funny, they were sharing their screen, and I could see like this. But I found myself thinking, I can't hear properly without my glasses. Like, yeah, I just said, I can't hear properly without my glasses. Which insinuates that I may be lip reading people. I wasn't. I just, things seem clearer, they look clearer, they feel clearer when I have my glasses on and there is writing in front of me. That's why I have reading glasses. So today, as I was speaking to a lovely, lovely lady, um, I said the same thing. I said, hold on a second, I'm just gonna go and get my glasses so that I can hear you properly. And we both started cracking up laughing. Those are the sorts of people you want in your life where you can say things like that um, and have jokes and laugh. And it still be work and it still feel good. So um, second, <laughs> uh, second uh, unintentional nugget is, when you do something that you love, people talk about flow and being in the zone, and I get that. But when you do something you really love, it feels good to do it. It doesn't feel like a strange strain. It doesn't stress you out. It doesn't make you feel anxious. Um, and usually when that happens, when you're doing a job, because some people um, that I speak to are employed, and they can't just go, right, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to outsource it. When you experience being at work and feeling anxious, angry, just out of kilter, don't look at the whole job and throw it out of the window. Have a look at which elements of the job have you feel anxious. What is it about the job? What is it about the people? What happens to have you be like that? And you'll find the pieces that you love. Like seriously, get yourself a nice little notebook, write it down you know add it to an electronic note on your phone write it down and you'll start to be able to separate the things that you um, love that light you up that fill you up and the things that don't um, and then you can work through those a lot easier than just chucking in the towel and going I hate this job and I hate the environment so back to the conversation we were cracking up <laughs> because they were happy for me to just quickly nip off screen go and get my glasses uh, and put them on which involved me trying to find them in the first place and without your glasses it's always hard to find your glasses um she says eating a fly so um that's one less thing that's going to bite me so the next thing um was yeah so we were having that conversation and it kind of like there were other sayings other expressions that kind of don't make sense but do make sense to the people i'm curious to know you know i'm nosy by nature what are your things you know what are the things that you love now 